Look, it's the bird. It's the bird up there. Okay, don't scare him away. She's very cautious right now. Yeah. You guys can see the little bird up here in her nest. I don't know if you can see that in the thing there. And she's on her eggs. There's three little blue eggs in there. So I don't want to disturb her. So I'm trying to be like calm and, and quiet. But yet again, we are in my greenhouse. And the reason for that is because I am checking on all of this. The sea of green, guys. Sea of green. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> I actually need to water everything. So that's why I'm in here. My, uh, my lettuces are dying because I was not a very good lettuce mom and I forgot to water them for two days. And that's what's happening. So I'm going to go ahead and water them now. They'll probably pop back. They're not too bad. All right. Well, I'm going to get these guys watered. So we're headed up to the new property tomorrow, and that is because, for a couple of reasons, is we need to do some measurements. We want to drop a garage. Pretty much as soon as we get there, we want to drop a garage. Uh, so we need to measure and see uh, how big we can fit, how big of one that we can fit in there. I mean, it probably could be pretty big, but I don't want it to overpower the whole property when there's like this massive garage and a little house. <laughs> I just think that would look funny. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we're going to do the measurements and then go from there. We did look at a couple garages yesterday here locally just so that we could see what the sizes look like. And the one that we want is pretty big. So we're going to see how well that will fit there. And then kind of just go around and measure other areas of the property uh, for things like the greenhouse and also the shop. Because like I said, we are selling the shed that we use right now for the shop. We are going to sell that and then start new up there. We're probably going to make actually a bigger one. I think we've, I think in the last video I was like, oh, I changed my mind and, and uh, decided that we were going to change what I was planning to do with that structure I told you about that was there. I thought I didn't know if we was going to use it for the greenhouse or if we were going to use it for uh, the shop or whatever. But then I got to talking with Matt and the structure that we use right now for the garage here, it's, it's one of them tent garage things that I absolutely hate. <laughs> um, that actually we are going to take down and bring the structure with us, not the tent part, but no, but uh, the structure itself, the, the metal frame, so that we can set that up. And I think what we're going to do with that is turn it sideways and then um, build it up with wood and make that the shop. And then the other structure that I was talking about before in the last video will end up being the greenhouse probably. So <laughs> we're just, we're kind of all over the place right now trying to figure out what we can do and I'd rather reuse something and turn it into something else rather than just go buy something brand new. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. That structure would be plenty big for a shop. Actually, it would be a, a good size for a shop and I would be happy with that because then I can fit more in it. Because right now I have, I like struggle to find spots to put things because I make big wreaths and, and that kind of stuff. So, and then when we have all the pies in there and especially around Christmas time, it really gets full. So anyway, that is the plan for that. And hopefully we can make that work. That's the whole purpose of going up to the new property today is to see what the measurements are and where everything can fit. I have a certain amount, or I should say a certain area rather, where I'd like to put everything. So in my head, I have it all sort of mapped out where everything will go for where the garage will go, the shop, and the greenhouse. I'd like, I, I kind of have an idea of where it, I, I would all like it to go, where it looks nice, it's not impeding on the land that I need for the animals, and uh, will still be functional in the way that they need to be functional. So I'm hoping that I can um, make this work. 
the way that I want it to. There were three eggs in it last time I checked. Now it looks like there's four. All right, just a quick checkup on these guys. These are all the ones that I have up potted. Again, everybody's doing well. See, don't be afraid. I'm excited for these plants. I'm excited to bring them. I was trying to think of last night, like, okay, how am I gonna transport them to the new property? And I think I have a good way to do it without harming them. And I'm, I'm hoping it works. All right, so now we are off to go to, I actually have to go to Hobby Lobby because I have some wreaths that I need to finish. We're trying to use up as much as we can for before the move. We're trying to sell everything that we can because we are downsizing to like half the space of this house. We're trying to get everything that we can sold so that we don't have to take it all with us, first of all, and then second, you know, not have a place to put it when we get there. <laughs> so I'm trying to get rid of all of the stuff that I can by making as much as I can with the supplies that I have, but I just need a couple of signs. So we're gonna head over there and hopefully get a couple of spring signs uh, to get these wreaths in the shop because we are opening every weekend from now, this weekend, until, uh, I think until we move, but that could change because we are trying to, we, we do need to get to the property uh, before we actually move in to get a few things finished that I would just prefer to have done before we actually have all of our stuff in the house. So anyway, I'm trying to get it all going and done. We've already started packing. It's very exciting, but there's just a lot to do. 